Kia ora, talofa lava, mlola lei, and a warm Garen College welcome. On the screen in front of us, we have our online learning program for 2020. And as we review this document, a key feature that I want to impress upon us is the, the fact that this is a really flexible plan. Um, this isn't a dogmatic plan that is telling you how to do this to a T. It's to provide you with guiding principles that are really going to help you during this time. Um, as I'm acutely aware that different curriculum areas um, have different needs and will have a different way of delivering learning experiences during this time. And ultimately, um, we've got to be kind and generous to ourselves uh, as we go through this process. And particularly for our Garen learners, is just to provide them with a continuation of learning and particularly learning experiences that are going to really excite them. Um, this is really important here, uh, looking at our collective genius document, and it's fantastic to see how many people have uh, placed up ideas. So continue to do that because I'm learning so much from each one of you. And secondly, there's also a padlet here. So if you're um, stuck around a particular uh, challenge, um, place it up there on the padlet, and collectively um, we'll have particular individuals who respond to your questions up on this padlet really quickly. This here is a guideline for best practice uh, for us as a teaching staff, and it focuses on three key themes. So the first theme is ako, uh, the second uh, theme is be clear, transparency, and the third theme is about connection and holder. So for ako, there are three characteristics in the boxes there that will ensure that ako is really consistent during this time. Uh, for transparency and being clear, there's three characteristics that will help our learners around what they need to do and what they should be doing. And finally, connection and holder. There's three particular characteristics uh, that we will be in control of during this time. Uh, up on the screen here is the learner guide, which just is a mirror of our teaching guide and helps support the understanding of how you're going to be delivering online learning. On this page here, uh, a range of different links. So that's the original staff email um, which we sent out. I've created a poster to look at uh, four key design principles to help you with uh, your online learning programs. Um, there's a bit of background in terms of how we got to that rubric which I've just shown you and the particular philosophy uh, that we're taking. This here is really good around uh, particular digital tools across um, our nine curriculum areas. Um, a key focus for us will be about self-regulation and Garen learners driving their learning. So a key feature of this will be using uh, te aho data um, and explaining the rubric to them during this time uh, because while we're completing online learning on the 23rd of April, we'll be able to add in some te aho data and share this with our whanau. Finally, there's some um, aspects of online learning research which you can take a geese at and also, there's a hoard of chicken, um, which final teachers are able to use. It's just short and sharp and gets a message out there. So thank you for all of your work as we shift into an online learning environment and one that will be very exciting. Uh, let's grab this and let's get out there. See ya.